introduce you to a director from Happy Valley who soon headed to Los Angeles because his work is nominated for an Academy Award. Yeah, here's a look at his powerful documentary called Lifeboat. It follows the work of a nonprofit called Sea Watch as they help refugees in danger as they're trying to cross the Mediterranean Sea from Libya to Europe. Don't jump! Stay on the boat! Stay on the boat! <laughs> This documentary gives us a look at why they are so desperate to flee and the work of those on the lifeboat coming to the rescue. Director Sky Fitzgerald is here in studio. First of all, congratulations yeah, on this nomination. How did you come across this story of this German nonprofit to tell in the first place? How'd you hear about it? Well, we were working with uh, some doctors on the Syrian-Turkish border on my previous project, and they said that when the border to the EU was shut down between Turkey and Greece, yeah. that the refugee flow from Syria in particular would be forced westward into the central Mediterranean and that there would be a very high mortality rate. Give us a behind the scenes. What were the conditions like making this film? Well, we're on a search and rescue vessel, yeah. right? And so it was truly triage um, and the stakes were life or death. Yeah. Some of the challenges that you faced, I know your effort was to interview some of these refugees and find out why they were so desperate. So how were you able to do that in these conditions? Well, on the second day of the search and rescue operation, our small 30-meter vessel encountered over 3,000 people floating in the middle of the ocean. And so it was, you know, rescue from the water, of course, but then because we were the only vessel, we had many of them on board for an extended period, and so we had a chance to interview them before we were able to offload them to a transport vessel. This is pure desperation, too, right? What did you find? Why were they so desperate to flee? Uh, many of them had been subject to torture, yeah. to modern-day servitude, um, to multiple rapes, yeah. and they were trying to flee these desperate conditions in Libya. Now, was this just a small drop in the bucket um, in terms of how many people you encountered? Was much more of this happening that the, the lifeboat couldn't help? Well, so luckily, um, even though we were only a single vessel initially, they were able to call to an MSF vessel and another partner vessel to come and assist with the rescue. So by the end of about 24 hour period, we had multiple vessels in the area that could assist with this. So it's very difficult work, as you can imagine. You're on the sea, you're pulling people out of the ocean, you're trying to figure out put them in a life raft, give them life vests. And, and you're trying to document it and all. And we're trying right. to document it at the same time. Powerful documentary if people can watch it, but let's talk Oscars as well. This has got to be a huge deal to be, Os to be nominated for an Oscar. It's a huge honor, yeah. of course. We're very honored to be recognized by our colleagues in that way. Um, you know, it's, it's one of those things that you, you don't necessarily hope for, but when sure. it happens, you know, um, we're certainly proud of our work yeah. and, and we feel incredibly honored to be recognized in this way. This is in the documentary short category, which you said 40 minutes has to be under uh, 40? Maximum 40 minutes. Maximum yeah. 40 minutes. Yeah. And so you're going down for what they call Oscar week, uh, mm -hmm. leaving Sunday. What happens during Oscar week? Oh boy, I've learned so much. Yeah. <laughs> um, the, a lot of events, almost every night there's an event for the nominees run by the Academy yeah. that you, you go to. Um, it's a very tightly controlled guest list and you get a chance to sort of mingle and, and work with your colleagues and learn about their projects and then do Q&As. Um, as well with, with screenings of the film and sometimes clips from the film. Yeah. Well, we're very proud of you Boy, being an are. Oregonian, heading down there, representing the state, and also bringing such an important message out about what is happening. Well, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. I'd ask if you have your acceptance speech ready, but I don't want to jinx it. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> Wonderful. He's got the tux ready, though. Yeah. That's important. Right. Thanks for being here.